Hey everyone, welcome back to Indigo Invest. Today we are looking at the AMC Entertainment Holdings chart, ticker symbol AMC. We'll be covering the price predictions, movement and overall outlook for the future, so stay tuned. I'll be giving you daily videos of all the hottest stocks and cryptocurrencies, so please like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell to join our community. Remember, I am not a financial advisor, so always do your due diligence and research before investing your money into anything. And with that said, let's get straight into it and build some wealth. Okay, everyone, so another intense day on the AMC charts with AMC breaking through that support line of 11.75 and also 11.30. Today, we saw a fall of around 14.5%, closing the day at 10.67, down from an open of 12.46. Now, before I go into any further details, I just want to shout out all my space apes with the diamond hands. You know, shout out everyone on Reddit, shout out everyone on Stock Twits, really pumping the hold and buy narrative. We are coming together, we are unified in this motion. And now, what it really takes for us to do is stick together, keep buying, do not sell. We have the hedges under pressure. Okay, I feel it coming, people. I feel the squeeze coming. There's a lot of news outlets reporting that there is an actual possible squeeze. The rumors are really running high of a squeeze. I'm seeing a load of pictures on Fox News, you know, saying that a load of people are reporting it. And essentially, S3, the company that actually spotlighted the game short squeeze, now have actually spotlighted an AMC squeeze as one of its next big squeezes. And that S3 report comes in with another 500 companies. Really watch out for that, guys. Really stay tuned for that whitelist paper because those 500 companies really, really could be some big winners for us in the short squeeze. They're going to release all these names on white paper really soon. So really do your research into that, you know, and see what S3 is saying about these short, short interest on these companies now i'm not actually sure how real that mc picture is but real or not it's going to send people crazy it's going to create some real fomo right now and we know gamma squeezes lead into short squeezes okay and they always have an element of fomo anyway so we're really on track for what we need to do now today's volume wasn't that high we are seeing around 80 million pretty much the same as yesterday hopefully that picks up during the week and we get back to that 200 plus volume where we can really pump this up we need more volume people it's a disco right now, the sound is low, so tell a friend of a friend to get involved. Let's pump that volume up and let's dance. It's a disco right now, let's pump that volume up and let's dance. Okay, we're going to get our attendees, those hedges cannot keep manipulating the market. Taking a look at some of those technical tools, I'm going to take a look at the stochastic chart first. I was mentioning yesterday that if we got a crossover in the overbought area, you know that might indicate why we have a retracement today along with some market manipulation i've always got to add in the market manipulation there is a huge amount of market manipulation right now people do not ever think that it's not happening these hedges that are naked short in this but when we do sit together we're much bigger than them so we need to not let up we need to be holding and buying where we can okay now talking about that the short interest on this i'm going to give you some information on fintel they're saying there's around 450,000 short shares available with a, with a borrow rate of 2.9%. But as we see that borrow rate go up, we always like it. Now, I'm not too sure on if Fintel are actually reporting the numbers correctly because we know Fintel, you know, are in cahoots with a lot of hedge funds. We don't know if those Fintel details are right, but I always do like to give it anyway. Now, all in all, we're still on the uptrend, people. So this retracement is nothing for us. I've got to always bring you back to that moment when we held through $5. You know, I bought in at 18 and I held through five. So looking at this chart now, it's nothing to me. Should be nothing for you. We can hold through these moments. We can buy through these moments. The shorts are in really big trouble if they do not cover themselves. If they keep shorting this stock, they're gonna be in real big trouble because we are holding strong. We just gotta hold through those dips. It's gonna be momentum in the stock coming from the SEC regulators because essentially the SEC are gonna be doing a stock count soon, which is gonna be really good for us. You know, we're gonna get some clarity on actually how many short shares are available, how many people are shorting the stock, you know, how many people are not covering their contracts and how many shares are actually available. So all of that information is going to be really good for us. Now, just going back into the numbers I was speaking about earlier, you know, about the resistance and support levels. We did break through that support level of 11.87, 11.30 and also 11.10. You know, um, so tomorrow I see us pretty much hovering around that 10.50 mark and, you know, really trying to break through that 11, $11.10 mark. I really like the bounce off of the support level of 10.47. And like I said yesterday, I really don't think it'll go any lower than that. But if it does go lower than that, then we might have a gap to fill. Yeah, so if it retraces, it'll go back down to $9.90, where which is another support level. 
so off open tomorrow if we can hold that 10.50 of support i can see this going back to the 11 dollars and 10 cents mark and trying to break through that resistance but if we do you know drop through that 10 dollars and 50 cents mark then we could be going back to 990 um and that is essentially you know fake selling pressure from the hedges trying to crush the paper hands out of positions again you know we need to hold strong regardless of the market manipulation you know it's about us now it's about how we get our attendees it's about how the space apes eat we've been in this for a long time now and we're going to see it out to the close so let's not quit let's keep let's keep at it you know let's keep at it you know speaking about the sec if they come in clutch with their reports then we could definitely see a gamma squeeze and a short squeeze really soon if we get all those numbers cleared up about you know the um, short options and the naked shorting going on if we get all them if you got all the stock numbers cleared up it'll be amazing now there's still a, a huge amount of short laddering going on you know these hedge funds are really playing dirty even with the ssr in place you know they're hitting us with huge sell walls and i was speaking about them using the ssr against us yesterday now that's really really weird that they can even do what they're doing with the ssr but i really really think you guys should look into that yourselves you know don't take my word for it go and see what they're doing with the ssr go and see who's talking about the ssr right now now i used to think the ssr mattered but essentially they found a work around it they found a work around and we really got to watch out for that um yeah the dirty tricks that they're using right now so look I gotta bring it back again the hedges have already beaten this stock to five dollars that's how low they could take it they could not take us any lower than that we will not return to those levels of five dollars we need to keep the strength we need to keep our wits about us let's not get emotional in this uh, in this moment right now do not get emotions emotions are going to get us crushed we are trying to crush the hedges you know what? we need faith let's not be emotional let's be faithful let's have dedication let's be disciplined right now guys let's be disciplined okay now that's what i've got to say about the amc charts for today the technical analysis looking at the 30 minute chart the day chart and the three minute chart now come on people we have got this in the bag and we stick together let's have some unity in this let's keep those diamond hands <clears throat> forget the paper hands people let's stick with this man stick with this okay and we will see this out let's go